Join me and watch me suffer my way through my first swift race in a while. Just getting the warm up done, one big effort, and then jumping over to the race. Okay, three, two, one, and we're off. As normal, full gas. So this is a swift laps race using their new new point scoring. Let's see how it goes, but as normal, it's full beans from the start. Apologies for the rattles, that's my stages bike. It's definitely seen better days. Found myself on the front, don't want to be there. As we progress, you'll hear me articulating some thoughts. Just stay in the front pack, that's all I've got to do. These normally stay in the head, but what the hell, they can come out today. I'm probably racing too low category, but until the point system is sorted, and I've done more races, then this is where I'm recommended. Which, to be honest, is pretty much what I've got. I need to get my baseline for these races in so that the points calculate correctly. I end up in the right category. So the reason this is so hard is because I've not been doing Zwift racing for a while. I've been very focused on doing my running, but unfortunately I'm out injured for the time being. Okay, that's the lead-in done. So you like the Champs-Élysées now. So I'm in performance condition, minus four. Yeah, that's fair. To be honest, it was probably more than fair. I think it would have been minus six, minus seven by this point. There's obviously some strong riders still in there. So probably the same as me, where the score isn't quite representative yet. And by the way, it's about 20 degrees, and over 8% humidity in the garage. So there's probably about 20 of us in this front group now. For anyone that thinks you can't get bang for your buck on indoor racing, you definitely can. The effort and the sweat tell you everything you need to know. All in this was just under 17k of effort. And by this time we're getting closer towards the end. There had been a small group breaking away but we were starting to all come back together. There are a lot of tactics involved in swift racing including when to use the power-ups. Luckily, having been doing it for a while, I know roughly when to do most of them. Underpass with a feather to counter the anvils. Just found myself on the front. Had to basically break. Now, this is where all good swift racers will probably have a laugh because this is where I'm doing what I class as a sprint finish, but I am just not a sprinter. Let me just TT all day and I'll be fine. Not a bad result, 11 of 41, I'll take that. And as you can see, at least there was a little increase in FTP at the end, but it's way off what I used to be able to do, which used to be in the 250s, 260 region. Maybe I'll get back to that one day. <laughs> 